Kyrgyzstan orders S-300 air defense systems and drones with Russia. The agreement on further defense military cooperation is important. In particular, the agreement on the delivery of the S-300 missile system and attack drones, which will be Russia's important contribution to the security of the Kyrgyz Republic and the outer borders of the EAEU and CSTO. Russia and Kyrgyzstan signed an intergovernmental agreement on military technical cooperation eight years ago. It called for the delivery of $1 billion worth of modern weapons to the Republic. Both states are members of the Collective Security Treaty Organization. The United Russia military base, which also includes the Khan Air Force Base, is located in the Republic. The S-300 is a series of initially Soviet and later Russian long-range surface-to-air missile systems produced by NPO Almaz, based on the initial S-300P version. The S-300 system was developed to defend against aircraft and cruise missiles for the Soviet Air Defense Forces. Subsequent variations were developed to intercept ballistic missiles. The S-300 system was first deployed by the Soviet Union in 1979, designed for the air defense of large industrial and administrative facilities, military bases and control of airspace against enemy strike aircraft. The system is fully automated, though manual observation and operation are also possible. Components may be near the central command post, or as distant as 40 kilometers. Each radar provides target designation for the central command post. The command post compares the data received from the targeting radars up to 80 kilometers apart, filtering false targets, a difficult task at such great distances. The central command post features both active and passive target detection modes. The project managing developer of the S-300 is Almaz Anti. S-300 uses missiles developed by both MKB Fakel and NPO Novator Design Bureaus, separate government corporations, previously named OKB-2 and OKB-8. The S-300 is regarded as one of the most potent anti-aircraft missile systems currently fielded. It is mainly used in Asia and Eastern Europe, including three NATO member countries, Bulgaria, Greece and Slovakia. An evolved version of the S-300 system is the S-400, which entered limited service in 2004.